Aha! Ta-da! All right, team. We're all set up to perform a preview of our newest show, Diaspora, for our new school. Now, how do we get the entire student body in one place at one time? I will get the entire student body in one place at one time. How? Just set up for the preview of Diaspora in the main parking lot at 2.15 tomorrow. It's go time! Is that the fire alarm? Attention, Johnson Middle School! We are the After School Theater Club, and we perform weekly at the theater across the street. All right, guys, I did my part. Don't blow it last minute. Who is responsible for this? Hello, I am Mr. Giraffoli. Welcome to detention. No one may say anything. No one may read anything. No one may put their head down. No questions. Hannah here was talking out of turn. Always room for one more. Psst, I heard you got detention. I took a dive for support. I've never been disciplined. Beck, calm down. How can I be calm when the theater is dark? Children. Why are we breaking the only rule governing us? Todd was just saying how great detention is. Exactly, Mr. Giraffoli. And I was wondering if I could use my time here to work on my presentation on the importance and social relevance of detention. Go on. I propose a presentation celebrating the history, legacy, and future of this noble punitive measure. Finally! A young man with ambition. Such a complex subject cannot be tackled by one man alone. Detention requires a team of researchers. Say, Becky, Lena, Hannah, Tina, and Joey. I grant this request. But you must all work independently, and there must be no talking. We'd have it no other way. Anna here decided she can chew gum in class. Always room for one more. We're ready to present, Mr. Giraffoli. Where can we set up the projector? Detention is something the entire student body ought to experience. You present to the whole school in the cafetorium. Ahem. <clears throat> Detention. Webster defines detention as follows. One, the act of detaining. Two, the state of being detained. Three, the withholding of what belongs to or is claimed by another. One of the earliest recorded examples of detention includes the Israelites' exile from the Promised Land and subsequent scattering throughout the nation of Babylon. We will explore this early form of detention for the next two hours. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Diaspora! We join our heroes, the Israelites, as they trust God for salvation, even as they name their suffering. I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness and the gall of my detention. I well remember them, and my soul is downcast within me because of detention. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed by detention. Spread across the nations, Israel grows from a people of the land to a people of the book. The Torah. The Torah unites us as a people in exile. As long as we carry the word, we carry God with us in detention. In conclusion, the people of Judah relied on scripture to inform their identity and purpose as a people in detention. Of course, this is not the only example of detention, but those examples must be left for another day. Thank you.
tension for everyone. <laughs>